So next up, we want to do some conversion between Cartesian coordinates x, y and polar coordinates r, theta. And the conversion equations are over here. Let me show you where they come from. So we've got this point that's located radial distance r, counterclockwise angle theta. We are going to drop a perpendicular down to the x-axis. And then the height of this triangle is the y-coordinate of that point. And then the base of that triangle is the x-coordinate. So in relation to this angle theta, notice that cosine of theta here is adjacent over hypotenuse x over r cross multiply x is our cosine theta. The sine of theta is opposite over hypotenuse y over r so cross multiply y is our sine theta. If you want to change the other way from Cartesian to polar, notice that x squared plus y squared is r squared on that right triangle here. So r is squared of x squared plus y squared. Uh, in relation to theta, y is the opposite angle, x is the adjacent angle. Uh, tan theta is y over x here. So that means theta is the inverse tan of y over x. So let's look at an example. Let's convert the point 4, 2 pi over 3 to Cartesian coordinates. So let's sketch this point here first. So we're going to go out four units radially on the positive x-axis. One, two, three, four, and then we're going to go two pi over three counterclockwise. So that's going to land us over here. So we want to know Cartesian coordinates there. So x is going to be negative, y is going to be positive. So our x is our cosine theta right here. So r is four, theta is two pi over three. So this is going to be four times cosine. 2 pi over 3. And if you check your unit circle, uh, cosine of 2 pi over 3 is negative 1 half. So this is 4 times negative 1 half, which is negative 2. And then the y coordinate is going to be 4 times sine 2 pi over 3. And sine 2 pi over 3 is root 3 over 2. So 4 times root 3 over 2. Uh, 2 cancels in here. We get 2 root 3. So coordinates of that point are negative 2, comma, 2 root 3. So that's not too bad. So try uh, web assigned section 10.3, problem number 2. Do a little bit of converting.